One of the oldest concepts in Chinese medicine is a cold womb. What that means essentially is a woman trying to get pregnant may have an aspect of a cold womb. Low progesterone, the uterine lining isn't thick enough, it's not replenished every month to the point that it sustains an embryo and fertilizes it. All of these are aspects of a cold womb. So how can you easily know if you have a cold womb if you're menstruating or trying to get pregnant? Easily take the back of your hand and you're going to have an area above the belly button with four fingers. You test, you can kind of gauge the temperature. It's a little warm up here. Then you go four fingers below the belly button and it's definitely colder on the back of my hand. That is one of the easiest ways that you can gauge a colder womb. So you have some work to do. One of the ways that we like to warm the womb in holistic medicine, especially Chinese medicine, is moxa. Everybody in my programs, my patients, always uses moxa. We always warm the womb. Moxa is artemisia herb. Artemisia is a very warming herb. It's a woman's herb. It penetrates deep into the uterus to help warm the womb, meaning improve the circulation, thin out the blood if you tend to have blood clots or cramps and pain. Cramps and pain are another sign of a cold womb that just needs some TLC. So what you do is you burn some artemisia. If you like burning sage, this isn't gonna be so bad. And you start in the middle of the belly button and you are about an inch or two away from the skin. You're not gonna burn yourself if you do this easily. And you see, I have two fingers over the belly button. That's for me to gauge that I am not burning myself. You can get closer. And I guide it through the sides here where your ovaries are. You just use a circular motion. And this herb works so much better. Mox in general works so much better than a heating pad. If you typically need a heating pad during your menstrual cycle, you have a cold womb. Why do you think heat makes things better? It improves the circulation. But with moxa, artemisia going deep and penetrating into the ovaries and into the uterus, it helps improve circulation for the next cycle and the next cycle because we're getting to the root cause. We're opening up these blood vessels that maybe not may not have enough oxygen to to nourish the ovaries. We're improving the lining of the uterus. We are creating a warm womb environment to get you fertile, to get you regular cycles, non painful, crampy, debilitating cycles, and more important, we're we're getting you fertile all by warming the womb.